Hold up, it's the weighing. Call up and you're weighing. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge we ain't playing. When you think it's about to end, should we crank it up again? Hold up, weighing. Call up and you're weighing. Now we get to scrutinize everything you're saying. Switching up the topics, dropping knowledge we ain't playing. And we do this every day. Never ever duck a fade. Hold up. Hold up. Greg and Francis keep it popping. What? <laughs> Greg and Francis keep it popping. What? You already know what it is, man. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of the Wade Show, baby. I go by yes, the name sir. of Francis. And that's Greg over there. And right now, we coming live to you with a topic that's hot off the press. And we want to give our take and our thoughts on it. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to pass it back and forth. And then we're going to shoot the three. Swoosh at the end of the day. Or... Right hand knockout. Greg, talk to the there people. You know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, man. What up, everybody, man? Thanks for joining us once again, man. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit that bell icon so you know exactly when we drop videos like this, man, so you don't miss them. And uh, check us out on IG at the Wayne Boxing. We get all the news, notes, everything going on with boxing over there. And you could also send us um, some DMs, man. Let us know what you think of the show. What you let us let us know what you think about us or any topics you want to tackle, man. We'll definitely get at it. And you see the website there, right at the bottom, man, DwayneBoxing.com, where you can see all the links to all the different platforms that are available to you that we are on. And you get the rankings and the schedule. And we got some more stuff coming. Like I'm telling you guys, it's under construction, but don't worry, man. We're going to have merchandise and all that good stuff coming, man. But yeah, but the topic of the day, topic of the day is um, De La Hoya, man, taking some jabs again at, at Canelo, man. We obviously know um, De La Hoya was the longtime promoter of Canelo Alvarez, but, you know, they had a legal battle, you know, at the end of 2020, I believe. And um, they parted ways. And since then, you know, there's been some back and forth between the two. Um, De La Hoya, obviously, he's been getting back in shape because uh, he um, has an exhibition coming up um, in September. Well, he, was, he wanted to fight George St. Pierre. That's right. But, yes. But they, they, nah, they said nah, negative. That ain't happening. <laughs> they called him. He called him all type of names. So he's looking yeah. for somebody else. Go ahead. Yeah, man. So so he's getting back in the ring September 11th in the exhibition against MMA legend Vitor Belfort, who I believe was a heavyweight champion and a light heavyweight champion in the in the mixed martial arts and, and a knockout power in, in both hands, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and he does have good hands. I think he has had a couple professional fights, if I'm not mistaken. But um, either way, you know, he got those hands. And he's going to be in there with the legend. But um, like I said, De La Hoya took some more jabs at um, Canelo, um, saying that Canelo is like uh, Mayorga. Um, what was it? What was it? What was his name? Ricardo Mayorga, sorry. Who, you know, had a wild kind of style back in the day, won a couple of welterweight championships. But I, nonetheless, saying that he's strong, but uh, power doesn't win fights. Trying to say, I guess, Canelo's kind of a one-trick pony and is just about power and um, doesn't have the skills. And basically saying, you know, I'd beat him if we were to ever fight because skills pay the bills that he feels Canelo doesn't have, man. So again, uh, De La Hoya uh, throwing some jabs out there at his former, um, you know, former athlete that he used to promote. Um, saltiness. Is it, has he always had these feelings about him? It's funny how things change once, you know, you from when you're promoting somebody or working together from when you're not working together, you know, opinions change, but, um, it is what it is, man. But what, what do you think if they were to actually fight or if you were to take prime De La Hoya, prime part, Canelo, man? A part of me, a part of me, yeah, is saying, man, De La Hoya, you full of shit. You full <laughs> of shit. You know Canelo will knock your ass out. You know Canelo will spark your ass. Stop talking shit. You know it. That's that cocaine talk. That's that you must have been drinking a little bit, man. Stuff, yeah. You played, man. You played. <laughs> but then the other side of me saying, yo, that's the golden boy, man. Yeah. 5'11, 73-inch reach, who had 39 fights with 30 knockouts, man. Yes, yes, yes. He like 40, 45, something close to it. Maybe a little older. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you see Bernard Hopkins fight till he almost 50. He's seen Foreman fighting to those ages. So you, you never know. You never know. He might fancy an opportunity. He might fancy a chance at Canelo. Yeah, and I mean, listen. No, why would I blame him? I think it would be amazing for him to do that. So, And, and he still is the golden boy. Like He got skills, reflexes, and he did say Canelo is just strong like an ox. And you understand. It takes skills. Skills, they pay the bills. Paid his bills yeah. in a big way. 
<laughs> paying people pay some of his bills too, man. Oh, talk yeah. that talk, man. Talk that talk. <laughs> so for me, that's where you know, in all seriousness, that's where two sides of me are a little bit different. One side is saying, Delahoy, you full of shit. Because you know what I'm saying, you've seen Canelo train up close and personal. But then the other side is me saying, Well, he's seen him train up close and personal. He knew where he was as a professional. He might be like in the back of his mind watching him training from a long time ago. Like, yeah. yeah. I kick his ass if if an opportunity came through. Like I, he's sitting there watching him train and tape up all these fights. He's like, yo, if the opportunity came, I will take him. Like he yeah. not high level. Like he nice, but you know those dudes that you know those old pros or those those ball players or whoever it is yeah. that whatever sport it is. You know when they nice and they like, well, you nice, but you not you not my type of nice. You not nice, nice like that. Yeah. Nice, nice. You, you gotta have something that they don't have. Yeah. Plus skills for them to like be like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. You got it was funny you said that about the legends. Yeah. Let me just read a quote that he that um that he did make yesterday. And courtesy, this is courtesy of the fight hype. I think he did interview with fight hype. So shout out to them, man. So he said, um, you know what's happening? Legends and fighters like myself that are retired, the level of competition, except for a few, is not as high as ours was. So he's referring, saying the competition nowadays is not what it was back in the days. He said we fought really hard. So fighters like Marco Antonio Barrera and myself, Eric Morales, we get in shape and fight 10 rounds, we can beat anybody. The way we fought back then is right. like no, it's like a no-brainer. So I think that's what's happening. I can do it. I can do it against that champion right there. He's easy, you know? Uh, so feel that way. This is the same Delahoe that, that way, yeah. that, um, Floyd Mayweather. He that's said, right. I did that fight. Yeah. Give me two more of these little bum-ass dudes that I'm fighting. Yeah. These little, yeah, these little uh, tomato cans. And I'll be back in. I'll be back in shape. I have the, you know, what I'm saying the mojo. I have the, yeah. the timing back. You know, what I'm saying I'll take one of those fights. And listen, man, he fight once a fighter, always a fighter. You see, Roy Jones yeah. still out here. You know, what I'm saying taking on Mike Tyson, big ass Mike Tyson with all that punching power. Like they willing George for uh, let me George Foreman, uh, Evander Holyfield about to Evander, fight yeah. Kevin McBride. You know, real soon. So. Man, they, they all fans and they way older than uh, Delahoy. Delahoy is still young and fresh, you know what I'm saying? Still doing yeah. funky things, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Real funky things. Let but, me ask you, man. Yeah. Let me ask you. Not so, sorry to cut you off, man. But um, do you think that he did mention Mayweather, right? And Mayweather said, listen, if the, if there's an opportunity to rob the bank again, you know what I mean? We might see him, you know, come back, not professionally, but in these exhibition type matches. How do you think an actual De La Hoya Mayweather exhibition, well, exhibition, you know, quote unquote, would actually do, man? Because I think I'd, I'd like to see it, man. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you, man. watching that rematch for like over, I mean, how much, like 15 years, man? We want to see these guys get it on. Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah. If De La Hoya and Mayweather fight again, yeah, exhibition, it's going to break the internet. Yeah, I think so too, it's man. The internet. It's yeah. gonna break the internet because <laughs> for those who they just want to see it. I mean, come on, man. I mean, it would be Floyd giving Oscar obviously the opportunity to of fight. Him. He would take that win if he got it and ran with it. He'd run with it. What? I beat Floyd. It was an exhibition, bro. Like, relax. Was, you guys are exactly. old. Yeah, but exactly. Who the hell don't want to see that fight? Who don't want to see that fight? Of course. Why not? Hell yeah, man. I mean, look how excited people got over just even <laughs> Tyson and Jones. Listen, that break the internet, man. That yeah, break nah, the internet. Yeah, facts. Even with the way Floyd looked against Logan Paul, the bigger Logan Paul, they're gonna be like, "Yo, Delahoy is gonna stop him. <laughs> Delahoy is gonna stop him." I'm pro- Everybody putting their money down that Delahoy will stop Floyd based on the way he looked against uh, uh, Logan Paul. Man, Floyd didn't train for that fight. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, you already know, man. But that's what we talking about. Uh, uh. Oscar De La Hoya, man, the golden boy himself, who had, you know, I mean, many great names on his resume. Absolutely. Looking at Canelo like food. Looking at Canelo like food. That's easy work. He's one dimensional. You know what? We've been hearing that one dimensional word lately. I'm just saying. Yeah. A lot of people throwing out that one, they're one dimensional. That's been going around a lot lately, man. I well, think this weekend you might hear that word kind of floating around the air this weekend, one dimensional, right? So, yep, yep, you, 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 yep, yep, <laughs> yes, right. You already know what it is, man. We appreciate you tuning in. Any final Absolutely. thoughts? 
Nah, just everybody, you know, thank you for joining us for um for the show and definitely um hit us up on the next one, man. We definitely um gonna be here talking boxing like we always do, man. So hit that bell icon so you know exactly when our videos drop, man. But we appreciate everybody. Smash that like button, man. Get that like button up. I know you like it. So smash the like button. And it don't cost you nothing, man. It's just a click. Appreciate y'all. We are out. Catch you on the next one. Okay.